Welcome to the Mysteries of the Bible channel, where we explore the rich history of black peoples, one of the largest ethnic groups in the world, documented even in the sacred scriptures. Surprisingly, the Bible discusses the origins of African peoples, including their melanin-skinned kings and queens. In this video, you will discover fascinating facts about the biblical ancestors of black and African peoples. Please leave your like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. According to the sacred scriptures, all current peoples are descendants of Noah's three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. This also applies to blacks and other dark-skinned ethnic groups whose Hamitic lineage originates from Ham, one of Noah's. Ham is the brother of Shem and Japheth who respectively represent the Semitic peoples, Arabs, Jews, Syrians, etc., and the Japhethites as Europeans and Asians. The term Hamites or Amit originally refers to the people descended from Ham. According to the book of Genesis, after the flood, Noah and his three sons were tasked with continuing the lineage of Adam. Ham, the son of Noah, is recognized as the ancestor of African and black peoples in the Bible. His name is always associated with Africa, and indeed, the Book of Psalms places him as the ancestor of the ancient Egyptians. It is interesting to note that in antiquity, rabbinical traditions and Jewish folk tales always identified him as the ancestor of African peoples. Furthermore, all interpretations of Ham's sons point to African countries and regions. Interestingly, the name Ham in Hebrew, Aramaic, and other ancient languages means burnt or dark, referring to the skin tone of his descendants. In Genesis chapter 10, verses 6 to 14, more information about Ham's lineage, also known as the Hamitic peoples, can be obtained. Cush, father of various African peoples, and Mizraim, father of the ancient Egyptians. It is important to mention that Arabs, Jews, Syrians, and other peoples refer to Egypt as Mizraim in reference to its founder. The other sons of Ham are put also known as Fute and Canaan, who is the father of the Canaanites, not of Africans. It is essential to understand that Canaan represents a distinct region and people. Uh, the sons of Cush include Havila, Sabta, Sabtica, Rehamah, Saba, and Nimrod. At the beginning of his reign, Babel, among other cities, was part of his domain. Nimrod, who was an ancestor of the native peoples of ancient Babylon, the Sumerians went to Assyria, where he founded two or three cities. Moreover, Mizraim was the ancestor of the Luddites. These were peoples of North Africa, such as the Animists, Leobites, Naphtuhites, Parthrusites, and Kazlahites. From these descended the Philistines and Kaphtarites. The firstborn of Ham, Mizraim, gave rise to many nations and peoples, including those of Ethiopia. All Ethiopians descend from Cush, as do the people of Nubia, also known in antiquity as the Kingdom of Cush. These are the main nations and peoples originated from Cush, son of Ham. They are not limited to Cush and Nubia, including the kingdom of Cush, the kingdom of Nubia, and the ancient Sumerians. Nimrod, the rebellious son of Cush, is considered the progenitor of the people of Samaria. Additionally, it is believed that the peoples of southern India, as well as many other Africans such as Malians, Eritreans, Kenyans, Congolese, and Gabonese Bantus, descend from Cush. The term is often associated with Ethiopia, Sudan, and Africa in the Bible, and its literal meaning is Ethiopia, or black. Cush was also the father of Sheba and Mitraim, or Mizraim. Mizraim is considered the ancestor of the ancient Egyptians and many North African peoples, including the dark-skinned Berbers and Tuaregs. It is fascinating to note that all Semitic peoples, such as the Arameans, Arabs, and Israelites, refer to Egypt as Mizraim. This designation is used in various ancient languages such as Aramaic, Arabic, and Hebrew. In the book of Psalms, chapter 78, verse 51, it is mentioned that God struck down all the firstborn in Egypt, the firstfruits of virility in the tents of Ham. In addition to Mizraim, Ham also had a son named Put, or Phut. An interesting curiosity is that the name Put or Phut originates from the word meaning marker, and is a reference to tribal hunters in Africa. Put is considered the father of the native black Libyans of Libya, as well as various other African peoples. Now, about the famous curse of Ham or the curse of Canaan. Many people in antiquity misinterpreted the curse of Ham or Canaan, described in the book of Genesis, chapter 9. The text says that after Noah became drunk, his son Ham did not help him, 
and instead told his other brothers that their father was naked and drunk to mock him. There are more than one interpretation of this text, but it is not the focus of the video. Noah placed a curse on one of Ham's sons, specifically on Canaan. It seems excessive on Noah's part. But at that time, respect for one's father was something almost sacred. Although Noah seems to be wrong for getting drunk in this way, the interpretations of these texts suggest that he might have gotten drunk accidentally because when cultivating grapes, an action that had never been done before, he accidentally discovered wine and got drunk without knowing. Therefore, God did not punish him. It is worth mentioning that Ham and his other three sons, Cush, Mizraim, and Put, are originally from African peoples. It is important to emphasize that black peoples were not cursed, but rather Canaan the father of the Canaanites who inhabited the Middle East. He was the one who received Noah's curse, not the African peoples. It is crucial to clarify that interpreting the biblical text as if African peoples had been cursed is a serious error and a false interpretation. The curse falls on Canaan, the ancestor of the Canaanite peoples. We know that Ham is the ancestor of all African peoples and those of southern India, and he lived a very long life, as he was born before the flood. He enjoyed a much longer lifespan, being able to witness up to the fifth and sixth generation of his family and ancestry. Interestingly, just as Shem lived about 600 years, Ham also lived around that age or even longer, although there is no precise confirmation of his age as the biblical texts do not mention it. It is presumable that he reached the 600-year mark, like his brother. It is not certain where Ham's tomb is located, but according to some theories and studies, it may be in the Ethiopian region or even in Nubia. Others claim that he is buried in Mesopotamia, in the land of the Sumerians. However, many agree that Ham's tomb is in Africa, more precisely in Sudan or Ethiopia. Some even suggest that he could be buried in Egypt, which is quite intriguing and interesting, since Egypt is a country full of mysteries, and people buried three or four thousand years ago are constantly being discovered. The Book of Jubilees provides more information about Ham's old age and about events involving Noah's family and the three lineage, the lineage of Shem and the lineage of Japheth. This ancient Jewish manuscript, which was believed to be true in the time of Christ and even before, reports that Ham completely disapproved of his youngest son Canaan's decision to dwell in the land of Shem today known as Israel. Cush did not agree with the attitude of his son Canaan to take these lands for himself. In the Book of Jubilees, it is reported that Cush and Mizraim, brothers of Canaan, along with their father Ham, disapproved of Canaan's decision to dwell in the land of Shem, which is the region that today corresponds to Israel. Like Ham, they also showed disapproval of Canaan's attitude. They went to Canaan and ordered him to leave that land as they believed that the African lands were reserved for the descendants of Ham. However, Canaan disobeyed and continued to dwell in that land, completely ignoring the will of his father and his brothers Mizraim and Cush. The Book of Jubilees reports that Ham was the founder of the first city and the first province after the flood. He named the city in honor of his beloved wife, Mael Tamluk. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked what you saw and want to stay up to date with more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give that like to help us grow and bring these stories and information to more people. Each subscription and each like make a big difference for us. So, go ahead, subscribe, leave your like, and join our community. And of course, if there's anything you want to see here or any suggestions, just leave them in the comments. We count on you!